Well, hello, welcome, we're live. It's me, Phil, here in the Digital DJ Tips studio with another Tuesday Tips Live. This is the live show where we look at something going on in the world of DJing. It could be a new product, could be a new piece of software. It could just be a skill that we wanna talk about this week. However, this week we are talking about something that's just been released, which is a brand new app from Beatport. Uh, and this app I've actually got on my phone uh, that I can show you now is a app that interfaces with the Beatport store and it's for everyone who uses Beatport Link, which is Beatport's music streaming service. And this app is basically like using the Spotify app or the Tidal app or the Apple Music app on your phone, but it interfaces with pretty much the whole Beatport store, which is a really nice thing to have because it's a missing link, if you like, in the whole ecosystem of Beatport Link and Beatport's vision for the future of how DJs are going to play music. So we're going to talk about that in this live show. I'm going to start off the show by demoing the app a little bit further and talking you through some of the features of it. And then towards the end, I'm going to take questions. If you're watching the recording of this, this was a live show and you can make sure that you get to see further live shows like this by simply subscribing on YouTube or liking the page on Facebook and then clicking show posts first. And that way you will be told every week when we go live with these, these go live every single Tuesday at 4, at 5, 4 p.m. London, 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, and if you want to ask questions to us, we're Digital DJ Tips with the biggest online DJ school in the world with the people behind the book that you may know, Rock the Dance Floor, the number one seller on Amazon on how to DJ. If you want to pick our brains and just ask DJing questions to us and hang out with us, well, you can do that on Thursdays at exactly the same time at 4 p.m. London, 11 a.m. Eastern, where we do our Thursday Q&A. But this Tuesday show is all about a particular subject. And as I say, the subject today is the new app from Beatport. So let's get stuck in. Let's have a look at the app. So let's, before we do, just remind ourselves what Beatport Link is, because Beatport Link is what this thing is basically based upon. Uh, so Beatport Link is a piece of software that runs uh, as part of your record box, Tractor, Serato, and all the others, Virtual DJ, DJ software also works with Den and DJ's Prime without the need for a laptop. And it gives you a set of Beatport playlists and charts down here as part of the way it works. So that means that I can go into the Beatport store here and here's a playlist that I've made, my top 20 techno bangers. This is in the Beatport store. I don't own these tracks, they're not on my computer. And I can drag them onto my decks and it will um, get them up, up there, load them up, and that's now been loaded from Beatport directly over the internet and is uh, available for me to play as part of this DJ set. And so the whole point here is that you can access everything that's in Beatport without having to buy it just by paying a subscription. So it's a music streaming service that is extremely friendly with DJ software and with what DJs need. Now, we're not gonna go too much into detail about how music streaming services work, whether they're a good idea, who they're for, and so on. Today, we've talked an awful lot about that before on our shows and no doubt will again. What we're gonna talk about today, though, is what Beatport has now done to make their service even more compelling. So let's talk about what they did first. Well, first, they got it into all the software, which is cool, but there's other services that are in all the software as well, like Tidal, like uh, SoundCloud, SoundCloud Go Plus, like BeatSource, which is also owned by Beatport, actually. Uh, so, but it's available in all the services. Beatport is the place for electronic music. So if you're an electronic music fan, then you know it's a, it's a natural place for you to go and buy your music anyway. But they then introduce this layer, this link, Beatport link layer, which means that you don't need to buy the music, you can stream it. And they introduce something that no one else has got called an offline locker. And that means that for a, a slightly higher subscription fee to the basic one, you can keep tracks offline in order to download your your set beforehand to your DJ software. And then when you turn up at a gig, even though you're kind of renting the music, even though it's like a DJ's version of Spotify, you don't need to be online to use that music, which removes one of the big objections to this whole kind of thing. What if the internet goes down? Well, it doesn't matter if it does because the tracks are all cached locally on your computer. So that's another thing Beatport's done that's slightly different to everyone else. Now it's got charts, it's got curated playlists, it's got top 100s, it's got lots of genres which are uh, very useful for DJs all in there as well. So it's a very useful service for DJs. You know, it's far more DJ focused than say Tidal. Um, but now they've introduced this app 
Now the app's only on iOS at the moment, it is coming on Android, uh, but I want to talk you through the app now, I want to show you the app uh, and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at what it does and doesn't do. So when you load the app up onto your phone, you get this discover page here. And the, this is based upon genres that you told it. So you can see at the top, it's got genre shortcuts. And that's because I told it some genres. Now in the settings, you can change the genres here. So this is all the Beatport genres. And these are all the ones that I put a star against that I want to be told about. And the ones underneath are the ones that I haven't put a star against that I don't want to be told about. So the genres that you see at the top here are the ones that you've chosen. And then, so you can, Drill into these genres, or you can just look at the Beatport's top 10 tracks, here they are, or you can look at the Beatport top 100, there they are. Uh, as I say, you can also drill into your genres, so let's say I wanted to drill into Deep House today, uh, I can do that and it's going to display the top 10 tracks in Deep House here. And so you can go into your tracks, play them, and you get a nice waveform as well, which is really nice. You don't get that on normal streaming services, of course, uh, a waveform there to play from. And you can do a lot of the normal things on the track, add it to a playlist, uh, view the artist, um, view the label, uh, just view the genre, look, see, see more from the genre, and so on. So you've got quite a powerful discovery system here, and it's a really nice way of just browsing through. You can hit play on it, and it'll just carry on playing the chart that you've selected without you having to do anything else, so the music kind of carries on. Uh, all the usual stuff you would see. Uh, there's some stuff it hasn't got, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but then one of the things you can do is add tracks to your, and you notice that there's DJ sets there as well, so we've got the top 10 tracks. We've also got DJ sets in that genre, DJ charts, beat port curated playlists. So it's a quite nice way of browsing through everything. Uh, but you can add tracks to playlists here. So if I go add to playlist, now I can create a new playlist, or I can, I can add it to an existing playlist. And then the really important thing to note here is that when you do this, those playlists are going to show in your DJ software. So down here, I'm gonna see everything I've done on that phone app down here, and I can DJ from it immediately, which is, as you can probably think, very valuable if you're using your phone, sat on the sofa, on the move or whatever, in order to prepare your music and decide what you like, put it all into playlist, turn up to DJ and it's all waiting there for you. So they've kind of filled in a missing piece of the puzzle, a, a useful phone app for this stuff. So let's go back to the app and carry on looking at uh, some of the features that we've got in it. So now we go to my library. So in my library, you can see your playlists are here and this is all the stuff you've been working on and you can play with your playlist, you can listen to them and so on. Now there's also a tab here called collection and collection is the tracks that you've bought from Beatport and you can, so play the tracks you've bought directly from here. These are tracks that you've bought and that you own and that you've downloaded. And so that's basically the way the app works. And I wanna tell you a few of the things now that I think it's good at and maybe not so good at. I'll move over to the, what we call the comment cam here because as soon as I finish this little section, we're gonna take questions from you guys and girls. And if you've got questions, please tag them, hashtag ask, hashtag ASK, in order to make it easier for me to find them. So this app is pretty cool. What hasn't it got? Well, we've actually written this up over on the Digital DJ Tips website. So you can head over to the website and have a look at the article that we've added there if you want a summary of this stuff. Uh, but basically, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good first go, uh, but there are a few things that are missing from this. So you can't currently buy music in the app uh, and you can't even add to cart to buy later. So some people will want that, uh, but also it's not a fully fledged streaming app yet. So you can't add, add tracks to the queue. So if you've got tracks already playing, there's no sense of a queue or a playlist and you can't add tracks to that. There's no way to just click the like button to like the tracks. Uh, and there's um, no concept of like a track radio or an artist radio or a label radio. Uh, so you can't do what you can do in Spotify and so on and just say, hey, play me more stuff like this. There's not even a shuffle play. So these are things that I would like to see them add later on. Uh, there's a way around some of these things, like you could have a playlist for your like. Uh, tracks, for instance, which would be fine. Uh, but, you know, I'd like to see them develop this into a fully fledged Beatport based streaming app that's got everything that all those other apps, Tidal and Spotify and Apple Music and Deezer and so on have got. Uh, but it's a really, really good start. So that's a potted kind of quick look at the new Beatport uh, 
app for iOS. It's coming for Android soon. It's free, but you do need a subscription to Beatport Link. And when they release it for Android, they promise they're going to add some more features to it for uh, for iOS. So maybe we're going to see some of the extra stuff that I've just talked about appearing. But we really like it. It's a really good first start. So that's the Beatport app. For the rest of today's Tuesday Tips Live broadcast, I'm going to take questions, talk to you guys and girls about this, and uh, we will uh, hopefully clear up a few of your questions if I can help you with those. We've had a, we've literally only had a couple of hours with it here. Just wrote up the news story, played with it, but I like it a lot. So exciting stuff, says Aiden. I think a lot of people who use Beatport Link will be in your camp there, Aiden. Marcus says, is there any info about an Android version following? Uh, yes, yeah, so I just told you about that. There is an Android version coming of this app. Um, Fuzzy Logic says, I can't find it in the store. No, we couldn't find it in the store either. But I'll tell you how you can get around that. Head over to our article, go to the bottom and click the Beatport app is available for free now in the iOS store. Uh, we've got a link there uh, that does work. Obviously, you're going to want to load it on your iOS device, not on your on your um, device like I've loaded here. Uh, but if you load that, you will find it. No, we couldn't find it searching in the store either. I think it's probably because it's literally just this second gone live over there uh, on the store. So go to our article and click on the link and you'll be able to find the app. Uh, okay, more questions about this. Jai Panade says, hi, Phil, I just saw this. This is wonderful news. Um, Facebook, someone on our Facebook page, do you think there is any chance track caching or track caching could come to Den and DJ? So the problem here is, Den and DJ's engine OS powered devices like the Prime Go, the Prime 2, the Prime 4, and the SC5000 and 6000 media players currently cannot let you cache tracks offline. So the way that this system works is, as I mentioned to you earlier, you can cache tracks offline so that as a pro DJ, you don't have to be online to use them. I'm hoping this is something that Den and DJ will add to their players at some point. I know that I know they'd like to, Presumably they've got technical glitches to get over and so on. Uh, so we haven't heard news of that, but I think there's every chance they'll do that. I'd certainly like to see that. Uh, so DJ Ginormous says, hi Phil, how deep is the Beatport library? In other words, does it just have tracks from the last year or so, or does it go back 10, 15 years or more? It's massive. It goes back a long, long way. Obviously it's electronic, obviously it's the independent labels and the more underground labels. There is some major label stuff on there, but BeatSource, which is their more commercial major label focused offering, is the... Uh, kind of the, 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 the yin to Beatport Xiang, if you like. That's where you'll find uh, hip hop and uh, R&B and Latin and um, pop and, you know, all those reggae, dance hall, all those kind of genres that Beatport really doesn't represent because Beatport is electronic. But within what Beatport does, it goes back a long, long way. It's got an awful lot of stuff. Uh, not everything, but an awful lot of stuff. Uh, Germany DJ Slaxter Miller says, Hi Phil, I have it, but it doesn't let me save files and I have a subscription. So I don't know what you mean by save files. It will let you add files to your playlists. So if that's what you mean, it does. I've just shown you it doing that. Um, but if it doesn't, then I'm not sure why. Maybe let us know um, a little bit more what you mean and I can help you there. Thank you, AB. Always good to see enthusiasm about these. Um, so let's keep looking then. How many tracks can you have stored offline and how long do you keep the songs for? It says XCOSA AU. So I'm not sure what the, um, the, uh, the prices and tiers are at the moment. I think it's 50 and 100 of the two tiers. I would imagine they're going to drift up quite a lot. I imagine they're going to have the chance to have a lot more than that stored offline very soon. I've always seen those small numbers of tracks that you can store offline with Beatport as a starting step and something that they will add to. Uh, but I think it's, you know, in the realms of 50 or 100 tracks. And you keep the songs for as long as you subscribe for, basically. Uh, so it's a pity you can't buy tracks directly from it, says Ludo Car. I agree, but then you could always just pop them into a playlist called Tracks to Buy. And then the next time you're at the desktop app, you can buy the tracks that way. Uh, they should combine the libraries. It would be a much of a better value product then, says DJ Ginormous. And by that, I think you mean BeatSource and Beatport. And I agree completely. Uh, it's an artificial divide uh, between those two libraries. And I would like to see them combined in one app. I guess there's all kinds of hoops to jump through for that to happen. But ideally, that's something that I would like to see. And I told them immediately when we saw all this stuff as well. Um, I've been using Beatport Link for my outdoor streams now, and I absolutely love them. In both Rekordbox 5 and 6, it's amazing, says Mike. Um, an iOS app is definitely welcome. 
Um, so um, I'm glad you're covering this topic, says Ken. Uh, I've been wanting to sign up. Am I, correct, am I correct it works with the DDJ-1000? Well, yes, it does because it works with Rekordbox software, which is the software that the DDJ-1000 runs with. Right, guys and girls, it's um, our quick look at this app today from Beatport, which is the new Beatport app for iOS. Uh, I'll just close it down there. Let's open it up again. So if you've just joined us, it's an app on iOS which lets you interface with the Beatport link library. You can see all your playlists. You can see all the tracks you've bought on Beatport. But more importantly, you can discover. You can discover looking at the top 10, the top 100. It's got access to DJ sets in the genres you like. It's got access to DJ charts and to Beatport curated playlists. Uh, and you've got trending artists and labels and current top releases and so on. Basically, it's a really nice way to not only listen to, but also shortlist and discover tracks in the Beatport library. It's pretty good. It's not quite a fully fledged streaming app yet because it lacks things like shuffle play and recommended tracks and artist radio and the ability to uh, to, to kind of let, let it just play stuff to your liking in the background without you having to keep adding stuff to it. But it's getting there. It's eight, eight, eight out of 10, I'd say. So it's a really good uh, start. Uh, so thank you to uh, my friends, as always, regulars like Mixmaster G, just helping people out. And Mixmaster G is asking for clarification. The playlist you create in the app will be available in all, in all DJ software that, that supports Beatport Link. Uh, and actually, you're helping people here. Thank you for that, Mixmaster G. It's similar to how I choose playlists are available to all DJ software. Nice way of putting it. Thank you. Yes, it is. So that's the good thing about this. You know, as soon as you're building your Beatport Link playlist in this, they will be available in your DJ software. Um, so does the app integrate with DJ software and let you see or edit cue points? No, it doesn't. Now, what I would like to see coming in the future is the ability to do what you can do on the Record Box app, for instance, on your iOS device at the moment. With the Record Box app, you can uh, put in cue points and loops and prepare your tracks, and they all appear in your DJ software. There is no way for that to work yet. I'm sure it's something that they're trying to get added and working with the DJ software companies in order to do that. It, wouldn't it be cool if they could have that done? But no, right now you can't add those things at the moment. Um, and one or two more final questions then. It looks like we've done a good job of covering this because your questions are, uh, are not really um, covering anything we haven't, uh, we haven't covered in this live broadcast, which is cool. Uh, so um, apparently DEX3 by PCDJ has incorporated it into software as well, says Pete, so that's good to hear. Yeah, and DJ Pro AI from Algorithm has incorporated it into its, its software as well. Um, so um, allegedly, says Mike, they cannot merge Beatport Link and Beatsource because Beatport was built on an older platform and Beatsource is new and they cannot combine the software. Well, I've got lots of information about what's going on behind the scenes as well, Mike. But suffice to say, uh, for a few reasons, they're not ready to do that, whether they're business reasons or indeed, as you say, technical reasons. Uh, so, OK, people, today we've been looking at the Beatport app for iOS. It's just been released. If you'd like to get more information about this app, which lets you which lets you interface with Beatport Link and then build playlists and then play those playlists in your DJ software, for instance, in our copy of Rekordbox 6 that we've got here running on our DDJ 800, but it'll work with any DJ software that runs with Rekordbox, Serato, and virtual DJs and um, basically any DJ software that incorporates Beatport Link, which is pretty much all of them nowadays. Uh, it's a really nice addition to the kind of Beatport Link ecosystem. They've now got the Beatport DJ app, which you can run in your browser and practice with. They've now got the app that I've just shown you here that we've got running on our iPhone here, uh, which lets you listen to uh, music and then start playlisting it for your DJ sets. Uh, and of course, they've got the ability to build playlist in the beatport.com store. Uh, and now they've also got um, all the integrations as of uh, recently, they added the final integrations into most of the major DJ software. So it's turning into kind of the go-to app for electronic music DJs who want to use streaming services. Uh, and uh, I'm a hip hop DJ, says Eric. Uh, is it Beat Source Link also? Beat Source Link is the one, one you want for hip hop for sure. Although they haven't got an app yet, I'm sure that would be coming. Uh, and I am going to call it a day there, people. Listen, thank you very much for tuning in. You've got the uh, article on this over on the Digital DJ Tips website. If you want to learn some more, just head over there uh, and have a look at this article that we've just published here. 
Uh, this is your place for all DJ news, by the way. We've got lots of other stuff happening this week as well on the site. Uh, III have just launched the world's first headphones made with recycled vinyl. There's another story for you. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Digital DJs using headphones made with vinyl. They're not playing anymore. There's a certain, certain circularity about that, isn't there? So do check out digitaldjtips.com for your DJ news every week. Uh, but meanwhile, for me, Phil, here in the Digital DJ Tips studio, uh, it's time to say join me on Thursday at the same time for p.m. London, 11 a.m. Eastern, where it's a, an hour of any questions. Uh, I'll be answering your questions, whatever they're about, music, gear, techniques, playing out, promoting yourself, or whatever. And uh, join me again on Sunday at half an hour from now. Look at your watch now. Half an hour from now, 5 p.m. London, midday Eastern. I'll be live from somewhere, probably my home balcony again, uh, DJing for an hour, taking shouts, having fun. Uh, so come and join me. I'd love to see you there. Uh, but meanwhile, this is Phil in the Digital DJ Tip Studio saying get good, get out there, make the moments. And if you're an iOS user and you use Beatport Link, head over to the Beatport um, app on the iOS store and download the new app for Beatport because it's pretty cool and I think you're going to like it. Okay, till next time then. Bye-bye everyone.